is the national. Canada's third wave of COVID-19 is crashing down hard across the country tonight, fueled by variants of concern. And now new questions about a variant of interest, first seen in India that has been confirmed in both Quebec and B.C. That has the opposition calling on the government to better protect Canadians. Tonight, we'll take you through what we know about the double mutated variant, as well as the spiraling situation in India. But David Cochran begins with the Canadian government's dilemma over whether to tighten the border. COVID is surging and variants are spreading across India at one of the worst rates in the world. But dozens of flights from India carrying COVID positive passengers have landed in Canada in the last three weeks alone. The Prime Minister is now not even restricting flights from COVID hotspots to stop the entry of new dangerous variants. We have some of the strongest measures in the world on the borders. Those measures don't target specific countries. Instead, all air passengers to Canada need a negative COVID test before they board their flight, face mandatory quarantine when they arrive, and two negative tests before that can end. No border measures are completely 100% um, uh, effective, of course. Every layer adds another layer of protection. And more layers may be coming. The government is doing a new risk analysis of the threat India's cases and emerging variants might pose, considering measures like those adopted in the UK. We've put India now on our red list, uh, which means that anybody arriving from uh, India to the UK has to be a permanent resident of the UK. Travellers otherwise are not allowed in. The Canadian government should, should do whatever it takes to keep the country safe. And um, you know, I think uh, people will fall behind the government on this and, and make sure that they, they, it, is, it, is, uh, it is supported. Okay, so David, when will we hear what the government plans to do here? Yeah, Andrew, the government's going to have something to say pretty quickly. Within the next 24 hours, I'm, I'm told the final details are still being sorted, but the government's looking at everything from stricter public health measures for travelers to an entry ban like the one in the United Kingdom. Okay, and we know India has stopped vaccine exports to deal with its case surge. Do we know what the impact would be on Canada? Yeah, so right now, one and a half million doses of the AstraZeneca COVID shield vaccine have been delayed. There was one million due in April, another 500,000 in May. And we don't know when or if those will get here. So it's a setback for sure. But luckily, it's offset by the boost in Pfizer deliveries, which are going to double to two million doses a week starting in May. Okay, David Cochran in Ottawa. Thank you. Thank you.